Hello and welcome, I'm Tino and today we're going to see if the bomber exploit work. What is the bomber exploit? You design a bomber, well a fighter with a bomb, and you will use this fighter in ground closer support mission. If you go the Sherman Doctrine, that is in this one, and you go all down here, you will get 140% bonus on ground combat efficiency, close air support. And if you add this spirit, you will get another extra, and that will make 165 in close air support. So we are going to send our fighters in close air support against the Japanese and see what happens. And then we are going to send a kind of similar model, but this is the model called Damage Dealer that has only heavy machine. And so we are going to use both types of, of heavy planes, but one with the exploit and the other one without. And let's see the results. Now this is how it works. We have our we have um, 460 planes that were what we were able to buy against 800 fighters. But on the defender side, we put only 600 to give some advantage to the attacker. On the other side we have meta fighters and we are attacking with our infantry in the border so the, they call the closer support, our bombers go to the place and the enemy counterattacks with its fighter and things start going on so we are going to unpause but we need to keep attacking, now the attack is off so I need to keep doing attacks and let's Keep seeing the numbers. And this is how it works basically. As long as there are attacks, they will keep fighting. So I'm going to speed things up and I will be back. So let's stop here. We destroyed a lot of enemy units in the ground. We destroyed 100 fighters and we lost 49 heavy fighters. Not bad. And now we are repeating the test, but we are using the damage dealer, a heavy fighter in, with four heavy machine guns, so it should perform in theory 25% better. But let's see if the exploit works, since this is not doing, doing close air support, we expected this plane to kill more enemy planes, or at least less loses in 100. So we are going to repeat the test. And here it is, it's going really fast. I'm not going to pause it since it's going to reach there very soon. These are the meta starting. Oops, it's going fast. I just rewind it to see what happened, and it lost nine fighters when it was 503. So we are going to do the calculations accordingly. So with the heavy fighter, pure heavy fighter, pure fighter, we lost 50 fighters since they were 440. So we lost. 50 and we destroy a little bit more than 100 104 but we did not perform close air support and i'm going back to the recording and yes the exploit works because we lost one bomber less 49 instead of 50 but this plane are slightly cheaper five percent cheaper and we kill the same amount of fight fighters and we perform a lot of close air support. So it's kind of a good idea um, and yes it's not kind of super good for gaining air superiority but or destroying the enemy fighters but they go even and you perform close air support at the same time and you don't have to think on, on protecting yourself since these fighters are more than capable to do the job 
in both situations. And also would like to act, act, add that when you attack, they start flying and they gain air superiority for you. So it helps in the ground since they are heavy fighters, they get more air superiority. And that's good. You get the benefits for the infantry and you also get the bomb, bomb brands. So it's kind of a win-win. So yes, it's a great idea, great idea, and that's all. Thanks for watching, and if you have another idea to test, please let me know. Bye-bye.